Welcome back. I'm here with Todd Eichinger from Hunt Real Estate. Todd, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Well, can you, you know, obviously you're, you're in the business of, of selling homes and, uh, and you are with Hunt, but first, why don't we talk about Hunt a little bit and then get a little bit into your background. We're one of the larger companies in Western New York, but believe it or not, we actually have about a third less salespeople, so our success is a little higher. So I like to brag on that a little uh -huh. bit because we've got a lot of tools that other people don't have. Mm -hmm. and a couple they don't use even if they have. So yeah. we kind of excel in using the stuff to get the job done. Oh, that's great. What about yourself? You've been pretty successful, speaking about success. Yep. I'm just starting my sixth year in real estate, and I've already made top agent twice. So I should be in the top 5% of all of Western New York this year. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be, you, you've been pretty busy lately, and you said you'll be expanding your workforce. i got to bring my wife uh -huh. So, you know, we're going we're gonna to be a team. So mm -hmm. it's going to be husband and wife so I can expand because I don't think I could take on much more work mm -hmm. without becoming less efficient. So. Right. I got to be bigger to be better. Well, that's great. Well, let's before I know you want to talk about some of the homes uh, that you've sold to this point. And uh, can you talk about some of the other services? What do you do in terms of trying to match people up with the right home for them? It's really just one on one time to try to get to know somebody. Because once you kind of get a little bit of talking going on, you get a better feel for who they are as per just what they're telling you. Because sometimes mm -hmm. they, they omit a thing or two. Right. So it's kind of fun to uh, build a little bit of a friendship and relationship, relationship so you can know better and figure out what they're not telling you to help them find. Right. Yeah, I think that's important. Like in any business, trying to when you're working with your customers to try and, and find out. But it takes time to do that and develop that relationship and and really get to what they're looking for. What, what about inventory? Uh, you know, I know, is there? We're still low, but um, it's a blessing and a curse. You know, uh -huh. there's there's good inventory out there, so it's kind of both a buyer's and a seller's market still, mm -hmm. um, because the buyers over the last year learned that they have to be more patient because we're lighter on inventory. So it's kind of even the keel for everybody a little mm -hmm. bit. But if, if you're looking to list, it's a great time to do it because coming into winter, I tell everybody, you get less looky-loos. And if somebody's coming out to see your house and it's 30 degrees and snowing, they're not out for a Saturday, right, Sunday right. drive and a cup of coffee. Their intention is to buy a home. They're there for a reason. Absolutely. So, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you talk about, I know there were a couple of homes you wanted to talk about. Uh, did you want to discuss those? Yeah. No? Just real quick, there's just kind of show the difference in the homes that I'll list because I, I'm willing to work with anybody. So I'll take the moderate homes that are local. And it, just because my office is out of East Aurora, in the past year or so, I've sold from Lockport to Evans out to Orangeville. I mean, I'm all over. So I'll take care of you no matter where you're hiding. But, um, you know, we've got some moderate homes like this one. This one's a really nice house in West Seneca. The funny thing is... All new streets, sidewalks are going in, I believe, but it, it totally redone. So this one's going to be an absolutely new neighborhood, and there's a park hiding right, right behind it. And then I go to the higher end houses too. This one is six thousand square feet in Elma. So if you're looking for a higher end house with some acreage, we can take care of that too. What are what are people looking for now when they're are there specific things that buyers have a commonality or anything or Everybody wants turnkey houses again. Uh -huh. Where in the past, you know, your HGTVs and your right. Pinterests right. were lighting everybody up and keeping everybody going. Mm -hmm. Now, they want it turnkey. They just Move walk in. in and ready to go and, and paint it and everything, right? Yep, yep. I just want to dust, wipe it up, and move my stuff in. Uh-huh. Well, what are, in terms of other services or, you know, in trying to match those needs up that people are looking for. Is there anything else that you you look at or provide, try and provide? It's really, it, 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 this business is unique because it's one-to-one. -one. Like everybody's house is different, everybody's needs are different. Um, I work with a gal who will actually come in and clean out like right. estates and such. Yeah. Uh, she does a great job, she gets great reviews, so I love referring her because mm -hmm. honestly, I've used her several times and every one of my customers has been happy. Um, and then there's others where, you know, they need to talk to a window guy or something. So it's just, you get in there, you, again, you just build that friendship, you find out what they need, want, and even on the list end to take care of them, you just kind of pick everything apart and individualize and help them where it's needed. Well, that sounds great. Yeah. Todd, what's the favorite part of your job? 
just getting in the houses, um, whether it's out here in East Aurora in the city of Buffalo, I've had just a cool opportunity. I've been over by Mark Twain's, what's left of his house. Believe it or not, there's still the garage left mm -hmm. from back then. Um, some of the old houses, the Hubbard house here in East Aurora, um, still, it has the ballroom. When you get in the old houses, you can see the servants' quarters, the ballrooms. Yeah, yeah. And just, it's, I never was a history guy in high school, uh -huh. but I found all of a sudden, I love history. I love getting in old houses and digging in to the who, what's, when's, and where's. And um, there's a bed and breakfast that's just sold here in Main Street that was phenomenal. Yeah. It still had all the original wallpaper, and they actually had curators come in and clean it all up so they didn't lose any of that. It's, it's really interesting that you bring that up with the, with the homes here in East Aurora. Some of those that have the, uh, the studios or, or, or dance uh, hall that is, is part of the house. It's in the upper area of the homes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really it's intriguing. It's neat to see the way people used to live around here and, uh, and, and that, that those homes are still uh, viable residential homes. So. Yeah, but. and and there's a lot of people who love bringing them back too. So I mean, that's 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 another thing that's just big fun for me is because I love old architecture. Right. So if I can find somebody that wants to do the work and bring them back to their glory, and then once in a while they let me sneak back in so I can <laughs> see the after. That's that's great for me. Yeah, that's really good. So, uh, how do people reach you? They can call me on my cell phone, text me on my cell phone, seven one six nine one two. 8684. They can find me on the web, whether it's a cell phone or the old sitting on the desk unit uh, at <laughs> gotoddy.com. That's G O T O D D Y.com. I'm on Twitter at 716 Realtor. I'm walking up and down Main Street. My office is in Here East in Aurora. Aurora yeah, so. I can be found pretty well everywhere, I'm told, <laughs> these days. <laughs> well, great. Well, thanks. Uh, if, if you're looking for a home, uh, give Todd a call. And, and Todd, thanks for being here with us today. Thanks for having me. And we'll be back in just a minute.